News of a gargantuan hailstone hitting Yalbaru near Mackay in Queensland recently made news around the world. The new Australian record is now set at 16 centimetres. That's a very big block of ice. While there's no official hail scale, we do use commonplace items to describe the risk. Pea-sized hail will make a racket, but unless there's a huge quantity of it, it's not likely to cause too much damage. The biggest risk is blocking drains and filling gutters so water comes into properties. Then there's ping-pong ball or golf ball-sized hail. Now that will definitely dent your car, damage crops and likely crack glass. Tennis ball and grapefruit size hail can cause serious injury to people and extensive damage to property. Cars, windscreens and tile roofs can smash and along with high winds and heavy rain there will be widespread destruction. Officially, giant hail is anything over five centimetres in diameter. Although the bigger the hail, the less likely it will be in a ball shape. Giant hail is often ragged, jagged, clumpy ice with irregular shapes and sharp edges. So, how does hail form? Hail starts as tiny water droplets that develop in the updraft of a developing thunderstorm. That's the warm air rising from the ground and up into the storm clouds. The air mass at the top of the storm is super cooled. Now that means the temperature is well below zero, but the water droplets still retain their liquid form. If the droplet comes into contact with a tiny particle of dirt or dust, it'll freeze into a hailstone. And then these hailstones clash and collide with each other in what's called a hail growth zone. As these tiny hailstones grow, they get heavier than the updraft that keeps them airborne, and then they start to fall. But sometimes the updraft is so powerful it keeps them in the growing zone for much longer and they have a chance to become golf ball, tennis ball and even grapefruit size. Whenever there's a big hailstorm, lots of anecdotal stories pop up like... In Rockhampton back in the 60s there was hail the size of bricks. The hail in the 76 Toowoomba storm was much bigger than a grapefruit. While the stories might be true, they can't be recognised if there's no proof. So if you experience some giant hail, and I really hope you don't, before it starts to melt, take a photo and if possible, add in something to give it a size reference. If there's no handy measuring tape, use a matchbox, a pen or a teaspoon before the evidence disappears. And for the record, the biggest hailstone ever measured was a monster 20.3 centimetres, which slammed down on the town of Vivian in South Dakota in the United States in 2010. That's a record we don't want to beat.